Hey guys, Boomy here, coming at you with the Bow Guide. Bow is a weapon that excels at controlling your opponent both on the ground and in the air with great game potential and zone control. Where Bow is weak, however, is at getting consistent kills and regaining control of the stage. Bow has attributes from both Spear and Guitar, so if you're liking either of those weapons, picking up Bow could be a great option for you. For Legends, you have 7 options. Ember, Azoth, Koji, Diana, Yumiko, Kaya, and Zeriel. Bow has three archetypes. Glass Cannon, Tanky, and Well-Rounded. For Glass Cannon, you have three options. Ember, Koji, and Yumiko. For Tanks, you have Zeriel and Kaya. And Diana and Azoth are both great options if you want to play a more well-rounded playstyle. And Light is a quick shot that catches both Stacked and the Jump. At low percents, Enlight stacked can lead to a Nair. At higher percents, Enlight can lead to a recovery. Enlight can also string the Dare, Ground Pound, and Sare at low percents. Side Light is a horizontal swing that's great at catching landings. At low percents, a stacked Side Light can lead to Enlight. Side light into D light is the best string for any bow player to learn. Side light dash jump dare is also a great option. D light is your long range punish option. On shipwreck, dash D light covers almost half the stage. D light into dare. Delight into Sair, Delight into Nair, and Delight and Light are all true at low HPs. At later HPs, Delight into Recovery is your best option for not only kills but also racking up damage. Nair is an upward swing that catches both stacked and above. Nair is great for juggling, but it doesn't have any strings that lead out of it. On the edge guard, Nair is a great way to get your chase dodge back and return to stage. Sair is a swing that's a great approach from the air as well as a great edge guarding tool. Here's an example of how Sair can be used as an edge guarding tool. Dare is a diagonal bow shot, which is a risky but rewarding move to hit on stage. At low percents, Dare can lead to Chase Dodge Nair and Chase Dodge Sair. Although impractical, at 0 HP, Grounded Dare can lead to Endlight. Recovery, although impractical to use on stage, has a crazy hitbox, as well as insane priority for recovery. Bow Ground Pound is the slowest Ground Pound in the game, but it also has the highest force. With Bow, in general, you want to play more of a reactive style because Side Light, End Light, and D Light are all great at punishing mistakes. I briefly touched on it earlier, but Dash D Light is a great option because it regains you stage control if you hit it, as well as being near unreactable and near unpunishable. The players that you're going to excel the most against when you're playing Bow are floaty players because End Light is so safe and so good at punishing jumps. However, if your opponent isn't playing floaty, side light, like I said earlier, is great on the ground as well as D-Light. With bow, it's all about reacting to your opponent. If they're floaty, punishing D-Light is going to be very easy for them. If they're playing grounded, punishing N-Light is going to be very easy for them. The main thing, the main skill that you need to learn while you're playing bow is to react to how they're playing and choose your moves accordingly. Alright, let's head over to some character specifics. And uh, do note that most of these combos, unless stated otherwise, uh, will not be true combos and will be strings. With Ember, Side Light into Side Stick is a great string. Similarly, D Light into N Stick is also a great string. While Ember D Stick does cover a niche situation, I wouldn't fish for it that much and it doesn't have much synergy with Bow's grounded moves. Uh, however, an unsuspecting opponent may get hit by it. Before we get into the strings, Azoth can continue his momentum by dashing and de-sigging. 
Here's what it looks like normally. Sidelight into d sig is a great dodge in read. Sidelight into side sig covers the same role. D light into hold n sig is great for catching spot dodges. Same goes for n light into n sig. Side light hold side sig and side light dash d sig are both good at catching spot dodges. With the right positioning, d light into n sig can be two dodge windows. In general, d sig on Koji is great for edge guarding. It's very difficult to punish. With Diana, side light side sig and side light dash side sig cover almost every single dodge. D-Light N-Sig is 3 dodge frames, and it also covers a spot dodge if you hold it a little. In general, D-Sig's hitbox is deceptively small. With Yumiko, D-Sig into N-Light is true. D-Light into N-Sig is okay, but other than that it's going to be all reads that you use Yumiko's Sig for. Here's an example. Oh, also this character sucks. For Kaya, her sigs have almost no synergy with bow moves. So therefore, just like Yumiko, you're gonna have to go for reads. You saw N sig for dodge up, D sig for dodge in, and side sig for spot dodge. For dodge down read, N light into D sig is a great option on Zarya. They like to spot dodge, D light, N light, GC, N sig is solid. And as far as side sig goes, I mean, just use that. I'll briefly go through my stance that I use on every character. I use defense on Ember, speed on Azoth, defense on Koji, speed on Diana, force on Yumiko, default on Kaya, and speed on Zeriel. That's going to be all from me, guys. Thank you guys so much for, for watching this video. Um, let me know if you have any concerns or if you didn't like it or what you did or anything specific that you want me to change so let me know um, this is probably the most high effort video I've ever made so thank you guys so much for watching let me know the next weapon you want me to do in the comments peace out